Welcome, welcome to Christian Content Connection, where we connect with various Christian creators in the YouTube sphere and other areas that can bless you and give you information to glorify God and to help you grow in your content creation. Today, we have a special guest, a new friend of mine, Anthony Gordon from the Cayman Islands. Um, thank you for joining me, man of God. Truly an honor to have you on here. Can you tell the people a little bit about yourself? Uh, thank you so much, my dear brother. And um, it's truly a blessing to be sharing this platform uh, with you. I am a regular nine to five worker. I am a father and also a husband. And most importantly, I am a born again child of the living God. I started out um, doing YouTube uh, in April of this year. And um, I was really inspired by a friend of mine who, you know, was talking to her. She alluded to the fact that because of um, my knowledge, and my ability to really expound on the word of God, that this would be a fitting platform to, to share the good news, the good news of salvation. So basically, in a nutshell, that's it about Anthony God. Awesome, awesome. And I, and I do like your channel. And if anybody um, who wants to know exactly, you know, what his content looks like, um, his channel is... Finding the Truth Ministries, and it's on YouTube. I'm going to drop his link below at the end of this video, so stay tuned to the end. You're going to get a special treat. Um, but but yes, uh, I, one thing I noticed off the bat about your content is you're a very good storyteller. And a lot of people um, struggle finding their different uh, niches. And in our previous conversation, you kind of uh, kind of shared what brought you to doing videos how you do. Um, and, and I want to give you kudos for your way to deliver the the word of God in the way that you do through your channel. So can you kind of tell the viewers of kind of how you do that and, and what that looks like? All right. Um, first, I, I do not really do a lot of uploads. The reason being is because I have to be inspired first. You know, I just don't go about and, you know, just upload or do video or contents because I want volume. Um, I do it because I have an unction from the Holy Spirit. So um, quite recently, I, as a matter of fact, my last video, I was truly inspired because of a personal life experience. And so I decided to pen the script and to title it um when life hurts and um it took me just a day to really finish that script and then to put all the varying graphics and background and you know sound effects and all of that together so um i'm really a person who goes by inspiration so to speak and how would you say um those um how would you encourage someone to really follow the leading uh, of the Holy Spirit when it comes to creating content? All right. Uh, and that's a good question. You see, because it's not all about us. It's mm -hmm. all about him. And it is him that breathed the breath of life in us. And so man became a living soul. And why I'm laying this platform and it's just to illustrate the fact that um, God speaks to us in many forms. He speaks to us, he can speak to us through his word, um, through his, the unction of his Holy Spirit, and he also can speak to us through dreams and vision, and also through another human being. So, in understanding when the Spirit is speaking unto us, we also need to know the word of God. Jesus Christ tells us in the book of John 5, verse 39, he says, Search the scriptures, for in them you think 
you have eternal life. And they right. are they that testify of me. Brother Paul, also, when he was writing one of his letters to um, Brother Timothy, he said, study to show thyself approved. A workman need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if we have ourselves grounded in the word of God, then God will speak to us. And when God speaks to us and we follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, then we honor God and God alone. Because we should not try to exalt ourselves, but to exalt him, the man Christ Jesus. Wow, that, that is so powerful because uh, I'll even say like how when I when I stopped trying to, I guess, do YouTube and, and kind of said, OK, God, I, I know this is essential for the ministry you called me to. Uh, but how do you want me to go about doing it? And then along the way, I found this platform um, because my ministry is all about bringing the body of Christ together. And what better way to do that? You know, it was almost like a click, like Holy Spirit told me you know, here, you've been doing it now do it even greater. Um, so, so, right. uh, so that's part of what led me to start doing Christian content connection is because I allow myself to get out of my flesh and be led by, uh, the Holy spirit. Um, but, um, to shift, shift the topic here, cause that's so good how essential we it, it is to allow the Holy spirit, uh, to lead you um, I kind of want to ask you uh, about your ministry and, and life in the Cayman Islands. Um, I've never been there. <laughs> you know, it seems like a, a, a nice place to visit. Um, but can you tell me what life is like there uh, ministry wise and just life in general? All right. Um, the Cayman Islands comprises of three islands. Mm -hmm. We have um, Grand Cayman, Cayman Brock, and the Little Cayman. And um, Grand Cayman is really the mainstream area, so to speak. And roughly, there are about 33,000 people living on Grand Cayman Island. And then another 20,000 in the Brock. Little Cayman has maybe about four or 5,000 people. Uh, there are... The culture here is diverse. And why I say that is because there are different ethnic groups, different people from different backgrounds and culture, beliefs, and philosophy that are here for various reasons. And um, based on the fact, I think there are about 140 different nationalities that is living on the Cayman Island. So you find that it's quite diverse. And so, um, generally speaking, though, Cayman Island is a Christian um, island. People believe in God, but also there is also a mix of a little of everything. I will not go into certain details, you know, but um, there's a mix of everything as you can think of. Uh, but generally speaking, though, the people in the Cayman Island, they are Bible-believing people. It's good to know. So um, because I've had guests from different different areas where they kind of told me like the, the great things and the struggles about, about ministry around the world. Um, so I kind of just wanted to pick at that to see, you know, is there like a major difference? Like um, like if you've been, ever been in, in the States, you know, how ministry or people receive uh the gospel or carry themselves as believers versus what you see on that yeah right all right so um because of the, the diverse nature of the people here in the Cayman Islands, as i alluded to before um mm -hmm. yes you can spread the gospel but also you have the distant groups you know and you have to be very careful how you really put across the message. Uh, so YouTube is sort of a, 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 a better and more equal playing field and platform to really spread the gospel. Um, persons, as I said, 
um, because of the diversity of you know the people and so forth that are here, and not so much the natives, but persons from other places, like from in the states, from in the UK, from Canada, from in the Philippines, uh, mm -hmm. from down in Iraq, all over the world, they are here. You know, so and and then those people come with different um, beliefs, different mm -hmm. culture. For example, um, one of my 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 staff, not staff, my colleague, uh, he he doesn't believe in God any at all. However, he wants to know about this God that I so serve and honor and magnify. So when I started to you know illustrate to him, you know why I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. And he started asking, you know, questions, you know. But if this body is so good, then why does he allow bad things to happen? So quick, then the Holy Spirit pricks my heart and say, you know, remember that God gave us the power of choice. To right. choose good and to choose evil. God doesn't impose himself on anyone. You know, so we have to, you know, be reminded of the fact that, and, and also, just to one other thing before I forget, is that there are certain laws also that protect certain groups also, so one has to be very careful. Yes, oh wow, that's, I did not know that, um, and that is good to know going forward, because um, I know we're in a time where you have to be mindful um, in certain aspects, you have to move with the, the wisdom of Holy Spirit because of different groups and different laws that are in place in order to, to properly, uh, I guess, navigate to be able to do what God calls us to do. So so to, 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 for you to even be able to share that that much um, information uh, on how it is there is really is really um, enlightening um, for, for me to, to receive that because I, I, I didn't know anything about you know, ministry or life or anything. And, and I really appreciate you sharing that uh, with me on here. And and also it was good that you, uh, how you express you have a new uh, outlet um, just because of maybe some of the limitations in doing the full ministry there. It seems like that you have YouTube where you can really, it's a level playing field. You know, there's no limitation really on how you can go forth with, with what God's called you to do. Is that, is that about right? The, whatever comes to mind right. is really on the whole to carry out the mandate of God and also to people. That, that even in that, using the word of God to, uh, I think that's so essential as Christian content creators to be that engulfed in the word to know exactly, you know, how to deliver the gospel the way God wants us to deliver. Um, you know, whether you're doing it for ministry, whether you're doing it for connection purposes like we're doing here, whether you have a business, uh, the Bible is truly essential for that. Um, with us wrapping up here, I want to first thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony, for, for joining us on here. Um, before we finish out, uh, what is like one, like your most prominent message you want to give to the people that you just want to, you know, to, to land on the ears of the people before we go? Remember to put God first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all shall be added unto you, Jesus Christ. And there's no coincidence that you shared that because that is the scripture of Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom that God has been putting over and over. And, and just to let you guys know, we've just recently became brothers in the Lord. We just recently met. And for him to drop that scripture and you guys right. have been watching what I've been sharing, all, you know it is a divine appointment from God. So uh, with that, we close out this episode of Christian Content Connection. Thank you again, uh, man of God, for joining me on today. Again, if you guys, you got to check out his page. I'm going to drop the link below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell for future uh, videos, for future notifications, so you can always stay up to date with how we're connecting here in the kingdom of God. Thank you, guys. God bless. It's gonna be it's gonna be alright. 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 Alright.